It's our big story at 10. Day two of sturgeon spearing is over. The DNR is reporting great numbers in the upriver lakes where the quota is nearly filled. Anglers on Lake Winnebago, however, are not having as much luck. NBC 26's Jonathan Gregg is in the newsroom and begins tonight's coverage. Traditionally, the sturgeon season on the upriver lakes is over pretty quick. A two or three day mad grab. We were just 50 fish away from hitting the quota this morning. The season goes. It's been crazy. Quick. It's wet and busy. On the upriver lakes. Over 130 fish registered in two days up here. Your odds of seeing a fish are better because you can see the bottom. And Glenn Miller. Thank you very much and congratulations. Has seen some trophies come out of Winnicani and Poygan. Lori Summers fish. 46.2. Oh, he's skinny. Isn't going to break any records, but not bad for her first ever. Everybody was screaming. It was very exciting. Very, very exciting. Plus, after the quota fills here, 39 6. She won't have to move on to plan B. When spears are not successful with drawing a tag, they'll be out on Winnebago spearing. 77 year old Ray Schwander has filled his last tag. I've had four. Bypasses, coronary artery stuff, and I just can't run with the big dogs anymore. I guess. Calling it quits after half a century on the ice. His last sturgeon is a modest fish. It was small, but but it is his. Remember, Hemingway wrote, "Now is no time to think of what you do not have. Think of what you can do with what there is." Or as Ray Swander puts it, "A little bit on the platter and zero is better than nothing." Another old man, last one for this guy, retires from the water. Season's over for me. This one has his fish to keep. Today's end count was 74 sturgeon taken from the upriver lakes, but only 21 sturgeon taken from Lake Winnebago. Tomorrow, there will be sturgeon spearing on the upriver lakes, likely be the last day. Reporting in the newsroom, Jonathan Gregg, NBC 26.